A manhunt in Morrisville continues tonight as police look for a suspect they say is armed and dangerous. Thank you for joining us. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kat Villianzoni. Police are looking for 24-year-old Henry Lovell. Morristown police responded to a reported kidnapping and domestic disturbance involving Lovell last night at about 845 and police haven't seen him now for hours. Now this video was taken inside the VFW in Morrisville at around nine last night. It shows Lovell there in a red baseball cap and a camouflage jacket. He struggles with another man over a long gun. The other man manages to wrestle it away. Lovell then leaves the room. We're going to hear from that man who got that gun away from from Lovell in just a moment. But first, let's show you this scene. Just 30 minutes ago, police scrambling, leaving their command post in Morrisville. Sirens and lights, but now police are telling us it was a false alarm and Lovell is still at large. We are expecting a police press conference at any minute now, and we will join it when it starts. We are working right now to learn more about where they went. But first, we're going to hear from our Cam Smith, who has been on the scene for us all day long. Cam, what's the latest? Yeah, Kat and Duran, just as you said, police left here just a short time ago. Uh, lights and sirens and all, they did say it was a false alarm, and Lovell is still at large this evening. We also know that the scene over on Pleasant Street has now been cleared by state police, and the roadway is back open. I did speak with the man who intervened with Lovell just seconds after shots were fired. Just, I don't know, I just did what I thought needed to be done. That's Doric Tallman, the man seen dressed in blue on this surveillance video captured inside the VFW building moments after an officer was shot on the street outside. 24-year-old Henry Lovell is wearing a red baseball cap and camouflage jacket and holding a shotgun. He went to kind of hand me the gun, but he got it out where I could get my hands on it, and then he we struggled a little bit, and I was eventually able to get the gun away from him and he took off running out the door before anybody could do anything else. This all started Thursday night on Pleasant Street just before nine o'clock. Morristown police were called to the scene for reports of a domestic disturbance and potential kidnapping. When the first officer arrived, police say Lovell shot at him and the officer shot back. Police spent all of Friday searching the Morrisville area for Lovell and collecting evidence. Residents were told to avoid the area. Police say they recovered all firearms Lovell may have had access to, but still consider him armed and dangerous. Tallman says when he encountered Lovell, he tried to make the best choices he could in the heat of the moment. Sole purpose was, is, you know, get the gun away from him, try to keep everybody safe and just stop the situation from escalating any further than it was inside the VFW.